Well, it's a long way from the French city of Pau to Sydney's west. But that's the path French-born canoeer Lucien Delfort has travelled en route to his first Olympic Games. And now he's using his know-how to help win gold for his adopted country. White water, turbulence and up to 25 torturous gates. Over 300 metres of heart-pumping, adrenaline fueled aquatic mayhem. For Lucien Delfort, it wasn't love at first sight. Didn't like it at all. I hated it. Luckily for this French-born New Australian, he stuck at it. After a strong 2015 season, Delfour ended the year at number three in the K1 World Rankings. But qualifying for Rio was touch and go, the 27-year-old almost falling in the semi-finals at the Oceania Championships. I was ninth and there were, uh, there were three, more, three more palettes to go, so I knew, I knew that, was, that was it. Luckily enough, they, they stopped up. Now a new challenge in Rio, representing his adopted country. Delfour first visited Australia in 2007 with the French junior canoe team. Almost 10 years later, he shed the French tricolour in favour of the green and gold. I wanted to race for Australia. This is the place to be. This is in France. Yeah, this is... I need to be here in Australia. Remontez à droite la rouge, tu fais descente les trois vertes. Perhaps not what you'd expect to hear at training in Western Sydney. Lucien's coach is also native French. That connection behind this very Australian Olympic dream. Lucien is Australian as well, but with this French culture. So it's, it's a bit of a yeah, uh, game and yeah, it's, it's hard, but I think I'm doing a good job here. Delfour is aiming for a podium finish in Rio if he can overcome his greatest fear. Uh, we will just do uh, some runs on the course and then suddenly there's something jumping on, on our feet and then, yeah, it's frogs. Um, it's just quite scary and quite disgusting uh, to hate it. So. He'll be hoping the waters in Rio are amphibian free.